Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Calvin Cater versus Aljamain Sterling. Calvin Cater, 23 wins, 7 losses. He's 2-3 and three in his last 5 fights, 1-2 and two in his last 3. Fought better competition, obviously. Had a win back in three, uh, over, um, about 4 years ago. Lost to Max Holloway, got absolutely destroyed. Came back and fought Giga Chikadze. Looked pretty good in that matchup, but I don't think Giga's that great anyways. So, okay. And then lost to Josh Emmett by split. I personally thought Josh won that fight because the Calvin was reacting every single time he was getting hit by Emmett. So, I thought the decision, I was like, ah, the judges are going to probably lean more to that because he's, even if it was overreactions, he was still reacting way worse than Emmett was when he was throwing. And then he lost to Arnold Allen. Knee injury happens is what it is it's not really a loss probably should be a no contest i hate when they do that it probably should be a no contest plus 120 36 years old 511 with a 72 inch reach fighting aljamain sterling who's 23 wins four losses four in one in his last five fights just coming off of the tko loss to sean o'malley seven months ago seems like yesterday to be honest minus 140 favorite 34 years old 57 with a 71 inch reach four inches in height for cater one inch in reach and again this is typical striker first grappler i don't think sterling striking is going to look great in this he needs to be better offensively he can't be funky i know his nickname is funk master he can't be funky in this one if he can get a hold of calvin cater it's going to be an issue the problem i have is i don't know how sterling closes that distance or even gets in the inside of Calvin Cater. I know if he can get a hold of him, he's going to do well. But how does he get away, even if it's only an inch, how does he get away from the striking of Calvin Cater? Unless Calvin's dumb and throws kicks, which I would be surprised if he did that, how does Sterling get those takedowns? I, I, I don't know how. And I don't know necessarily if I trust Sterling's chin to not get hurt or finished by Calvin Cater. I would think Sterling, if he can get a hold of him, he finishes him 100%. But I don't know how he gets a hold of him. Because Cater is good on the feet. That's the reality. Sterling's not great. Not great. He was able to do some good things down a weight class because he was a little bit bigger. It's the height thing that I, I, worries me a lot. I like Calvin Cater. I mean, I like Sterling to win this, but I'm picking Calvin Cater because I don't know how Sterling gets in the inside and gets gets a hold of him and gets him down. I, I don't I don't know how. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.